there you have an old railroad crossing sign buried by an unimaginative nature bandage for some stupid office park. And we're evidently in the Otis Petit Square. As this thing readily admits. So now we just get past these snow swill burns left by various lazy assholes who encroached on the right of way. Once again, little men with big trucks and payloads, power equipment, and other types of penis extenders. Looks like they even kind of crunched the crappy nature bandage stuff. Here, not that far from the little observation platform in the river. We just have to skirt this last dickhead mess. Good to go. Oh, yeah, there was a second track set up here, too. The final section here has fairly limited porosity too. Oh, there's another relic. A whistle stop sign or something.
A little vernacular trail down to this cluster housing thing. With luck, the good citizens of Newton will take over and begin picking up where the feckless contractor left off. And there's another giant tower. There's the Charles. Yikes. Oh look, there's even weight razor wire to let you know they're serious. And this must be a whistle stop sign. Tell the engineer it's time to make noise. This leads to a conservation parcel upriver a bit. It looks like it's got a little vernacular track going. And what's this? The doofus planked over the observation deck, but I guess it's just not ready. So he's got it kind of blocked with two by fours. Probably some insurance anxiety here in the insurance capital of America, or one of them. Looks like some of the locals objected to the fence crap. <laughs> I walked through this section of banking. It was rough going, but it wouldn't be a bad trail corridor should they choose to make it. I even went down there last year, which isn't terribly difficult. So geez, what is this idiot doing? Did everybody have a panic attack that someone might walk out onto an observation deck? Is it a territorial thing? 
<laughs> God, this is why I don't like contractors as a rule. And the insurance companies are even more despicable. <laughs> I think I will go up to Hemlock Grove. 